Hello everyone, welcome to the WBT Pro plugin video tutorial series. Today I'm going to show you how you can display team members in different layouts like carousel, grid, isotope and more. Make sure the WBT Pro plugin is installed and activated into your site. You can directly click on add new or you can click team generator and then click add new to create a new team and give it a title. Below the title field you can see there are 8 different layout presets to showcase your team members. I will show you how the different layout presets looks like in the web pages. And also I will explain the layout related properties so that you can configure the layouts as you like. So without further any delay, let's get started. First one is carousel layout, select it and click show preview to see how the carousel layout looks like. So this is the carousel layout. You can configure the column value for responsive devices and also you can set how many members you want to display in the team showcase. Go to the carousel controls configuration tab and here you will find the carousel control related properties like carousel mode, autoplay speed, navigation and pagination related properties. You have already seen the standard mode carousel, so let's select ticker and update the preview and this is how the ticker carousel looks like. Let's move on to the grid layout, select it and update the preview to see how the team members showing in the grid layout. Go to the display options configuration tab and scroll down at the bottom of the page to find the pagination related properties. Here you can enable or disable the pagination, set a pagination type from 4 different options, set how many members you want to show per page. Configure the alignment and pagination color from here. Next one is isotope layout. Select it and update the preview to see a beautiful isotope layout in action. The pagination options are same as before. A new configuration tab will be added when you select the isotope layout named as filter settings. Here you can select a filter type from button or drop down. So this is the button type. And now if I select drop down and update the preview, you can see this is how the drop down button looks like. Let's get back to the button type. If you want to create a multiple filter then you can do that using the options. Those are the groups. Suppose you want to filter by groups as well as location. Show both the options and update the preview and you can see those are the groups and those are the locations. Configure the button color, alignment, all button, rename all button from here. Next layout preset is list layout. Select it and update the preview. And this is how the list layout looks like. If you want, you can change the text alignment to the left as you like. No new configuration tab added for this list layout. The pagination options are same as before. Next one is mosaic layout. Select it and update the preview. So this is how the mosaic layout looks like. If I change the column value to 3 then it will look much better. The pagination options are same as before in the display options. And if you want to change the text color then go to the typography. In the typography settings you will find all the font related properties like you can change the font family, font style, text alignment, text transformation, font size, font color and etc. Let's change the member name font color to white. And if I update the preview, you can see the member name font color has been changed. Following the same process, you can display the inline table and thumbnail page layout. No new option added for those layouts. Let's select one by one and update the preview to see the changes. First select inline and update the preview. So this is the inline layout. To give it a better look, I would like to hide the short bio from here. So to do that, go to the display options and hide the short bio from here and now if I update the preview you can see this is looking better. Next one is table layout, select it and update the preview. So this is the table layout, as I change the member name color to white, this is why the member name is not showing. So let's make it black again and update the preview. So this is the table layout looks like but the name, designation and social profiles are not aligned properly. So let's align them. Go to the typography settings again and here you will find the option to change the text alignment. So let's set it to left and update the preview to see the changes. The name and designation text alignment is ok now but the social profiles are not. So go to the display options 
and scroll down at the bottom of the page and navigate to the social settings. Here you can change the social profile alignments. So let's set it to left and update the preview. So now it looks much better. And finally the thumbnail page layout, select it and update the preview. So this is the thumbnail page layout. As I change the text alignment to left for the table layout, that is why they are showing left. Now let's make them center aligned to give it a better look. So do the same for the social profiles. To do that, go to the display options and scroll down at the bottom of the page to navigate to the social settings and set the alignment to center and update the preview. Let's go back to the carousel layout and publish the show. Now go to a page where you want to display it. Insert the show using the WPT Improve Gutenberg block. And you'll get a live preview of it. Publish the page and view it. So this is how the team layout looks like in the web pages. Let's change the column value to 4 and update the show. Refresh the page. So in this way you can display all the layouts in your web pages. That's all for today. In the next video I'll come up with another attractive feature of the plugin. Until then take care.